Hello children. Now we already know when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then four angles are made at each intersection point. Here at point O, four angles are made and let's denote them by angle 1, 2, 3 and 4. Same way, four angles are made at the point P where the transversal N intersects with the line M. Let's denote these angles as 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now can you find the angles in the matching corners? First, let us find the matching corners. See here, there are two pairs of intersecting lines, one shown in blue and the other in pink. We need to find the angles that are at the same corner at each intersection which are O and P. If we see at each intersection there are four corners so we have four possibilities here. We can match the corners at top left, top right, bottom left or bottom right. This means that if angle 1 is at the top left corner of one intersection that is at O then the matching angle at the other intersection which is P is also at the top left and what is it? It's angle 5. These angles in the matching corners are called corresponding angles. So we say angle 1, angle 5 form a pair of corresponding angles. Let's see other pairs of corresponding angles. Angle 2 is at the top right of the intersection O. Same way, angle 6 is also at the top right of intersection P. These two angles, that is angle 2 and angle 6 are in the matching corners and these are also corresponding angles. Similarly, angle 3 is at the bottom left of the intersection O. Angle 7 is also at the bottom left of the intersection P. These two angles, 3 and 7, are in the matching corners and we say they are corresponding angles. Now coming to the fourth pair, angle 4 is at the bottom right of the intersection O and angle 8 is also at the bottom right of the intersection P. So these two angles, angle 4 and angle 8 are corresponding angles as they too are in matching corners that is bottom right of each intersection. So now you know how to find the corresponding angles by finding the angles in the matching corners. You know when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal then these pair of corresponding angles are equal. The proof we will see later but here we can say angle 1 is equal to angle 5. Both of these are at the top left corners. An angle 3 is equal to angle 7 which are at the bottom left corners. Same way angle 2 is equal to angle 6 which is a pair of corresponding angles at the top right corners. And angle 4 and angle 8 are also equal since they are corresponding angles at the bottom right corners of each intersection. So remember there are four pairs of corresponding angles when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal and don't forget they are in the matching corners and they are equal.